if you walk with me down the down the streets today, uh, a percentage of the people that would come up to me who recognize me as Jose Jimenez. Some of them will talk to me in Spanish, and thank God I can communicate quite well in, in, in Spanish. But to America, Jose Jimenez, just as uh, when, when we talked to Pat Harrington, uh, he talked about Guido Panzini, was a real person. Because it wasn't a stereotype. That's the one thing that gets my hackles. There was no Jose Jimenez before Jose, my Jose Jimenez, I mean, Jose Jimenez is like saying Johnny Johnson. That's why I picked the name. And there won't, there'll never be another, th that, that character. It was clearly distinct. Good, bad, or indifferent. I'm not, you know, the, it's to the audience to decide whether it's any good. But that, that to call ojalá, would that Jose, especially in his last iteration as a bellman in a, in a hotel, would that he were stereotypical because that means everybody would care only about other people and if they did a little something mischievous it was always to further some other cause never ever self-serving i mean this was a pure very pure loving child adult with the wide eyes you know it, it just was it a, a sense of marvel i really love so many uh, people do characters and they despise the character that has made them. I adore Jose Jimenez. But what I would love people to watch is the Bill Dana shows of 1963-64 where Jose was a flesh and blood character. Because before that he was a vaudeville character. He was an astronaut. He was a submarine commander. He, whatever was in the, in the news. And Don Hinckley and I had conceived the Nutley Hinkley Butley Winkley Report, the weekly Nutley Hinkley Butley Winkley Report. What's happening around the country getting, this particular one, getting ready uh, for the Christmas season, at least the first year. When I was out in the street, people would talk to me very, you know, hello, oh, we love you on, <laughs> on the, Steve Allen show. Well, thanks, Glenn. I'm glad to see groove for you. Oh, the disappointment. You know, it was like talking to this this puppet and find out well, it's it's just Sherry Lewis's hand in, inside a inside a sock. Yeah. But I was so conscious of protecting that character. The uh, Jose would never dress like that. Whoops, excuse me would never dress like I am now. He was always neat with a tie. And anything he did was motivated to, to do. I, I, you're talking to a guy that loves Jose Jimenez. Now, the character itself is great. It could have almost been any ethnicity. Why did you pick Latino? I, it, because it came from a joke. The joke that uh, if Santa Claus says ho, 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 it's spelled J-O-J-O-J-O. Jose Jimenez written, reminded anybody who, who looked at it that the J had a quality of an H. And the rest is gistery. <laughs>